All right, you guys, welcome to my fall nighttime routine. I am going to be basically taking you through exactly what it is that I do from sunset until my bedtime. So here you can see me working a little bit. Usually my day ends whenever I am just finishing up with YouTube, figuring out exactly what I'm going to be filming for the next day. And then I go ahead and, you know, just kind of set up the house for the evening. I turn on some music. I get all the lights in the house on and I just kind of set the mood for, you know, the night kind of turning down and everything kind of starting to chill out a little bit. And I love how many lights we have in this house. I have to say it makes me very happy and I turn them all on much to my husband's dismay. And I make sure to light every single candle possible. Fresh balsam is definitely my current fave. I know it's not Christmas yet, but you guys, I'm like right there. And that other candle is a peppermint candle burning. So yes, I am ready for the holidays already. And then I go through the house and we just do a full cleanup on Sundays. Like we do dishes, we make sure everything is tidy. Every single Sunday I'll tackle something. So last Sunday, you guys actually saw the video of how I organized my kitchen. This Sunday was, you know, an organization of our washroom cupboard. So I organized everything in there and then the house was freezing. So I actually just changed into my unicorn onesie. It was way more cozy. And then I put my hair mask on. So I've been using this roots hair mask as well as just adding in four different essential oils. You can get them from anywhere. I will put the recipe for what I use down below, but that really seems to be working. And I want you to know that it also works on eyelashes, which is really cool. So I've been using castor oil and these all natural oils on my eyelashes too, which is really cool. So I just put it, kind of put it into my hair. I put it in a really high bun on top of my head. I use one of those like plastic elastics. You guys may have seen them, they're like spiral type of elastics. And I put that on top of my head and then I will do a mud mask. And I just got this Glam Glow dupe mud mask from HomeSense and it's basically like a clearing mask. And so while that is setting, I will usually do laundry. I will grab everything from the dryer. Andre's really good at putting things in the washing machine, so I'll grab it from the dryer. I will clean out my closet. You know, anything that's kind of been sitting around towards the end of the week, any slippers, socks, anything that is just, you know, fresh laundry that needs to be put away, I will kind of tidy that up. I feel like Sunday's the perfect day for that. So we will go through the kitchen, I'll do my laundry, and I will fold up all of my graphic tanks, which you guys asked to see how I did. So if you have ever read The Subtle Art of Tidying Up, that's where I found this kind of strategy from. So you figure out the width that you want your tank top to be folded in half, folded in half again, and then once more. And then you kind of are able to see exactly what the graphic looks like and you can fold your tank tops like this. And I have to say, it's not like some fad that you're like, oh cool, it only works when you set it up. It really, like I've had my tank tops like this forever, so it really does work. And that's how I organize my leggings and my shorts as well. So here I'm just kind of separating everything. So I'll put like socks in one pile, all my undies in another pile. Oh, doing socks is like the biggest nightmare with Carl. He's obsessed with socks. Do you you guys have dogs that are obsessed with socks or like undies? Carl just, he steals them and then I can't get them back. He has like a little shrine of me buried somewhere in the house. So I put all of my, you know, my workout gear together. If you guys saw the closet tour, everything was explained in there. I'm happy to do like a holiday version or a more in-depth version if that really interests you guys. But you can kind of see how I organize my leggings in that same method as my tank tops. And you can fit so much more in your drawers and you can actually see everything, which just keeps it that much more organized. So then I just kind of folded up all those reading socks and all of my slippers and I kind of put everything where it needed to be. Then I started pouring my bath and that's actually how I take off my face mask. I'll just do it all in the tub. I switched up my shampoo and conditioner this week. I'm using a Davinus nourishing shampoo to strengthen my hair lit a candle. Um, I found my pumpkin pie martini candle. It's like right at the very end. That was my favorite candle this season, hands down. And you guys in my tub, which I didn't share in my house tour video, 
it is like my prized possession. It's actually like a bubble jet tub and there's like a remote and everything for it. And there's like this little thing next to the tub that actually like I can set the jets on it and stuff. It's my favorite. Bath time is my favorite. I only bathe. I don't even use that shower behind me. So once I got out of the tub, I put in some leave-in conditioner. I use it's a 10 keratin plus, which I shared with you guys before. And then I got these cucumber eye patches, which I just left on for 15 minutes. You know, in that time I cleaned out my bathtub. So I'll usually rinse out my tub with that little rinsey thing. I'll brush out my hair, which takes time in its own. I just got this brush and I love it. Just the color was obviously amazing, but it's a wet brush. So it's made to brush your hair whenever it's wet. And then I just put on my body cream, which was from body shop. And then my nighttime cream, which was basically the serum and the night cream from La Neige, which you can get at Sephora, I believe, but I think only in Canada because I've tried to get in the States before and they didn't know what I was talking about. So I'll always do kind of like a skincare type of regime at the end of the night. I can go in way more in depth with you guys if you would like me to. And then I just make sure that everything's put away because it definitely will accumulate if I don't. But between that mask and the eye patches and the nighttime serum and night cream, that's pretty much what I do. And then I just get the bed ready. So I like to do like a turn down service type of situation where I'll just get the bed ready for going to bed. Carl is legit ready at like 7 p.m. to go to bed and the kid only wakes up at like noon. He's insane. So I grab my glass of wine, I go downstairs and I get ready to do a little bit more work. So I will either turn on the TV in the living room and work on my laptop or tonight I worked in my actual office and I use the TV in my office. So usually I'll just chill a little bit. I've been watching Once Upon a Time, which I've kind of given up on. I hate to say it. I love Disney and I love this show, but I just can't anymore. You guys let me know if you agree. So I've given up on it. I've kind of switched to Riverdale as of tonight, which I'm, I'm starting to like. I think it's really cool. So I'll just chill with Carl, chill on my phone, answer your comments, and then I'll get back to editing that day's video. And that's usually how I end my night. So a lot of you guys have asked me how I edit my videos. I started out on iMovie, which was free, and then I ended up upgrading to Final Cut Pro, which I actually learned how to use in school. I started architecture in school, but I had to take like a film class. So I know how to use it. Um, and I just like it better. And then from there I will shut down the whole house. I will go through the house and make sure all that my candles are off and I will make sure that all of the lights are off because I know that it makes my husband happy. And then we will go to bed. I'll make sure that Carl comes to bed with me. And what I've been doing lately is I will usually dedicate like an hour before bed to just read. So what I've been reading this month is the desire map by Danielle Laporte. Port. And I mentioned this in my how to get over your fears video. And I talked about a ton of books in there. And that's one of the books that I love. It's really about like setting goals based off of how you feel and truly what you desire. And that's why it's called the desire map. And I, I love this book. So I will try and set aside an hour to read before bed. I will put my phone away from the bed and I'll just kind of chill and let everything wind down. So that is my full fall nighttime routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure that you're following on Instagram as well as on Snapchat. If you guys don't want to miss any, Thing. I'm going to be posting way more consistently throughout the month of November. Please give this a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the voiceover version of the routine type of videos and definitely make sure that you're subscribed because Hulur, I don't know if you guys know, I'm doing a giveaway. It will end on Halloween night, rose gold beats for the person that is subscribed and the most engaged on my channel. I will see you guys tomorrow for day 30 of our not so scary YouTube party. Bye dudes.